Bathing a baby can be a daunting experience for many parents. The Bathing Baby series is comprised of four videos that answer parents' most frequently asked questions and show how to turn bath time into a delightful experience for baby and you. This short sample provides highlights from each video from scary to soothing, the ideal time to connect with baby, safety first, and from top to bottom. I was scared to, that I was going to drop her, especially with soap, that, you know, she'd be extra slippery. <laughs> Many parents are quite frightened of ba bathing their baby for the first time, but when we think about it, the baby's actually been used to being in a water environment for the nine months before they were born. For the first couple of weeks, babies don't always love bath time. It's, it's a very new experience for them. It can be a little bit overwhelming. They can sometimes cry during that time. That doesn't mean you shouldn't persist through it. Uh, in a couple of weeks, certainly by a month or two, almost all babies love their bath time. It becomes a really fun time, something they look forward to, and often a really nice nighttime ritual that the parents and the baby can share together. Good girl, good girl. He liked the bath the first time or not so much? Mm, the first bath he had in the hospital, he didn't like. But when we went home and bathed him there, he, he really liked it. Mm -hmm. He really likes his bath. One of the things I recommend to my parents is that they, they, they talk the whole time they're bathing the baby. They sing to the baby, they explain what they're doing. They're washing the hands, they're washing the tummy, they're trickling the water, singing songs. Oh, there we go. Splisha, splasha, splisha, splasha. Water can run over a baby's head, over their face, over their eyes. Some babies really enjoy that experience and they, they laugh and they enjoy it. Their babies aren't so fond of it, so it's part of getting to know your baby and what they like. And of course they grow and change over time as well. That never ever for a moment must you leave baby alone in a bath. Oh, there's the telephone. You hear the telephone ringing, but I'm not going to get it. Uh, there's a risk they can slip, uh, and even in a very small amount of water they can come to harm. One of the things that new parents often aren't shown is how to pick up a baby without the risk of dropping the baby. Of course, if there was any redness around the cord that you noticed or any um, discharge, like a little bit of yellow discharge coming off of it, or um, if when you were changing Ethan's diaper you noticed that there was a smell to it, then that would be something you would want to let your doctor or your midwife know about. Here we go. I like to tell parents when they ask me how to wash a baby to just go from top to bottom. Really you want to start with the face, uh, wipe their eyes from the center out, uh, oh. delicately you know rubbing their face and in their neck always getting into the folds and I just tell them to work their way down. Uh, arms, hands, under their armpits, tummy. You can often flip the baby over so it's tummy is on your arms. You can wash their back gently getting down to do their lower limbs. We usually do the genital area last. Sometimes dads or partners feel that they don't have enough time with the baby or a bigger, big enough role during the day as moms have been really focused on feeding the baby. Um, this is a great opportunity for them to step in and take on one of the roles of parenting and really get some one-on-one -on -one time with the baby. Good girl, nice bath time, isn't it? Now I actually be there in the bathtub with me. I find it easier and it's kind of a little bit of bonding time for us and she loves being in there with me and kicking in the water and splashing around. <laughs> You can find all the Bathing Baby videos and many more trustworthy videos on the Kid Care Canada website, kidcarecanada.org. All videos and resources are available at no cost. No registration is required.